Now, lastly, this, thirdly, this one here is the, what I call a, an ideal trap display, um, aimed at people that are doing a lot of stay blocks that aren't necessarily digging a lot of holes by hand. Um, it's shorter in the handle so that you can get over it quicker, um, get your power into it rather than be up here. Um, it's just a nice handy spade for a tractor, farmer, sits on a bike a lot better, not quite as long. Um, yeah, and the blade slightly narrower and the fraction shorter. Um, just a nice handy spade. Uh, just to demonstrate these, this spade here is off the shelf. This spade here is also off the shelf. Um, it, it's, it's just as, it, as it's turned up, it's, it's only about a month old this spade. Um, I'll just show you. I'll, I'll use exactly the same force. Now that's, you can see the, the, the got that one in. Um, that goes in twice as easy. Um, that one's gone in almost twice the depth. You can see that without, without doing any more. So, well this is your, your, your nearest equipment which is a uh, strain light spade. Um, yeah, we'll just put that there for one minute. Um, this spade is what we call a general purpose fencing spade, mainly designed for people fencing manually by hand. And it's length so that you can get to the bottom of a four foot strainer hole, angle hole, um, with ease. And that goes right down to here to get to the bottom. Um, but generally a good spade for people fencing entirely by hand. And, and medium to hard ground, soft to hard ground. This one here, this one here's a clay spade. Um, primarily aimed at hard ground, a um, lot less angle in it, the head's not hooked as much, um, longer handle as you can see, suede bend so you, your hand won't slip down it while you're putting a bit of power onto it, but can be driven into fairly hard sandstone um, or clay, mainly clay, um, goes in, with, you can put a bit of power behind it basically. And, Right, this is the, the post lifter. This is and the Waratah lifter. The Waratah lifter, and that's the Waratah we've just driven in. Right. The biggest advantage of it is to the fitting it to the fence. That's it. So it's just a 180 degree turn and it's now locked in place. Right out. Yeah. Right, so as the wire comes out this side and then suddenly transferred over to this side which puts a 40, at least a 45 degree bend in the knot which stops it from slipping. They both go on the same way and by rotating it 180 degrees it suddenly becomes from one side to the other. Now that's approximately, that's at least 300 kilograms on there, at least. And um, on that one, well that can't be moved anymore, so that's roughly 300 kilograms as well. So, as you can see, that net fence is tight. Just doing it up, Wayne? Yeah. This is the uh, stretcher bar clamp made in 4 foot and 7 foot sizes or clamping the netting to um, hold it as you're pulling. Just show that where your hand is there. It's, um, one pipe in between two other pipes and that's enough to clamp the wire
stop it from sliding through. Right. That's got 300 kgs pulling the foot. <laughs> Most guys do and they end up by wrecking the, the wire strainer instead of using the, the little foot puller. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Pull this up, hold that there, pull it out, stretch it out. It's got approximately 45 to 50 kilograms in it now. Um, with that spring compressed like that, the wire will release at between 50 and 70 kgs tension. Um, fairly easy to get a, a feel for that. We'll now go and show you. Now this wire is now up the line. Bounce the wire to find a straight line. Hold the plumb bob. Mark the ground. Okay, bang it in. Well, after putting the wire down there, it's still the same tension. This here, the wire can be 30, 40 or 100 feet in the air and you can pull down 100 feet and do exactly what I've done and it doesn't increase the tension at all. It's constant, remains constant. Will it bend in the wind? Uh, you can set it stronger to, to have the wire to pay out at between 75 and 100 kilograms. Um, it just means you've got to pull harder, that's all. These little feet that uh, Wayne just hammered in, uh, one of the features is having a kerb on the front just there and the length of it just to, to drive in, about 10 inches long, 200 long. Okay. This is a series of uh, for a spinning jenny on a, uh, a trailerized unit to tow behind a quad bike. Action. Right, several different features uh, with this trailer, and that they are unique. Uh, one is that the whole thing is loaded from the top and they're stacked one on top of each other but they're totally independent of each other. Um, you'll see a slight movement but that's all you will see from the one that's down below. Um, yeah, totally independent and very compact um, and lightweight, extremely lightweight. Alright, there's a clutch on these so you can Tow the wire, uh, the clutch enables you to travel it at what speed, Wayne, on the, on the bike with it, uh, without a bird nesting? Comfortably in second gear. So, is that 10 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour? Uh, good 10. 10 miles an hour yeah. to feed the wire out, because these these wires, uh, a spooler wire can weigh up to, uh, what, 100 kg, what, 50 kg? Uh, this, yeah, 25 kg, so 100 kg is a wire altogether. 100 kgs of wire which would make a big big flywheel and you get bird nesting but this it doesn't happen on this unit.